Hi, uh, my name is Stuart Taylor and I work here at Microsoft Research in Cambridge in the UK and I'm going to talk about a project I've been involved with called Motion Keyboard. Basically the project is a full mechanical keyboard that still operates as a keyboard but embedded within it is a special sensor, custom sensor that we've designed that allows the system to detect the position and height of our hands and fingers above the keyboard. Um, what we then do with that data is to pass it into a, a machine learning algorithm that's been trained to recognise a range of different gestures. Um, the output of that is then mapped back into the system. What that allows you to do, or allows the user to do, for example, is to swipe in from the left um, as one of the gestures. In this case, we've got it mapped to app switching, so as the user glides their hand across the keyboard, at the point when they remove their hand, um, uh, the, uh, the system switches that to that particular app. Other gestures, for example, if we swipe in from the right, we get the charms bar come up, and another one, um, we've got the standard Windows volume control here, so as I slide my finger across the keyboard, um, that's adjusting the volume. What we're not trying to do here, uh, just to be clear, is to replicate a touchpad or a, a mouse, for example. Um, the reason being that if I come over to, to this um, circuit board here, which is basically an early prototype of our sensor, clearly it's not a keyboard, but this was a, a way for us to uh, test out the, uh, the sensor itself. What we have is an array of 64 proximity sensors. Each of these little elements basically shines the light out. Um, in the presence of a, a hand or a finger, some of that light is then reflected back into the other half of the sensor. Um, and from that, the system is then able to do a, a rough calculation of the, uh, the depth of or position of a hand above the keyboard. Um, as I started out saying, this image at the top here is basically a, a visualisation of the raw data coming from the sensor. The lower two images here are some of the process data that we take and we then feed that into a machine learning algorithm which has been pre-trained to recognise a range of gestures that uh, the user can then perform. And then finally we have a mapping between those gestures and the actual action to be performed. So sliding around, if we come to news for example, and we can scroll through again just doing on, on keyboard gestures. That's the essence of the motion keyboard.